In this session, we're going to take a look at the uh, C and U charts. So first, we'll take a look at the C chart. And we use this when we're analyzing the number of non conformities. So a non conforming item was you have a unit or an item and it's rejected for quality reason and that one reason why it was rejected is a non conforming item reason. Here we have a one item or unit that we're inspecting and it can have multiple things wrong with it. And so we're monitoring and tracking and analyzing all of the different things that could possibly go wrong with any number of items. So our reasons here or non-conformities and descriptions of them are here. So we're missing a hole. We could have one item that's missing a hole and does have burrs. So we have a different item that's a bad color and has a, a bend fracture. Uh, we could have any combination of these. So just similar to the other ones, um, P and MP charts, you have a column here that represents a sample and you have the counts. So out of all the items inspected in this sample, uh, two times, we had a bend fracture. Now that could have been on the same item or two different items. This chart doesn't really care about that. And one of them are bad color. So we have a total of problems or non-conformities or defects, uh, a total of three of them. So there's three defects over 10 units inspected. Now those three defects may have been all on one unit, may have been on two units, may have been on three units. Again, that doesn't matter. And this is our total number inspected here. So this three gets plotted down here. We see that is three. Here we had six, four burrs and two bad color. That totals up to six. So we see a plotted six here. So it's that straightforward. And then we have our C bar, which is our average of non conformities. So we take our count here in this row, three plus six plus three plus three for every one of the samples total that up, then divide it by our number of samples, and that gives us our average of our nonconformities. So every time we took a sample, we had 3.4 um, items or nonconformities that occurred. The U-chart is very similar to the C chart and it does the same thing. We're, we're taking a look at instead of count, we're taking a look at percentage of non-conformities. So here we have the total count again, three we inspected 10, we have percentage here. So this percentage or our U is equal to a percentage, which is calculated by taking the non-conformities divided by total inspected. And we get that 
0.30 there. So that's plotted here. 6 out of 10 here. Okay, so that's going to give us 60% there. The U bar is calculated by totaling up all the percentages. So 30 plus 60 plus 30 plus 30, all for all the samples going back and dividing it by the number of samples. So it is the average of U. So that gives us 34. So we should, on an average, when we take a sample, we should see, on the average, 34% nonconformities. So just kind of recap there. C-chart is good when you're inspected, total inspected. That's per sample. is always same. And our U chart is good when the total inspected varies.